much chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you an amazing attacking game played by English chess grandmaster David Norwood. His opponent is English chess player Sean Marsh and this game is from 1992 Walsall Keeping Jubilee Tournament. The event took place in Walsall, which is a town in England. Norwood opened up with g3 to which Marsh answered with d5, knight f3, knight f6, bishop g2, e6, white castled kingside, bishop e7, d3, c5, knight bd2, knight c6, e4. And so we reached a well known position of King's Indian attack, a universal setup which can be used against many openings. For example, we can reach this position when black plays Sicilian defense or French defense. Meanwhile, white is getting a powerful wedge uh, in the center, uh, is then strengthening it. And we have this standard h4 move. So when black castles kingside, white is then bringing his knight on g4, uh, pawn on h5, and is starting a kingside attack, which is pretty difficult to repel. But in the game, black decided to castle queenside. Usually, when black is castling kingside, is going for a, a counter attack on the queenside. But this time, we have a slightly offbeat approach, an interesting approach by black, black decided to castle queenside and now it's black who is going to attack on the king side. The plans of players are changing and there it goes already, white is hitting on the queen side offering a pawn, but the pawn sacrifice was not accepted in order not to uh, expose the queen side too much. Uh, h takes g6, rook takes g6, stockfish suggests f takes g6, but instead we have rook takes g6, uh, rook b1, h5, but uh, time will show that it's really very difficult for black to organize an attack on the king side and white is confidently neutralizing all possible uh, threats. White won a pawn and now will consolidate his position. The H file is open, but how are you going to make a progress down the H file? We have a powerful bishop. Moreover, there is no time. And there it goes. Knight d6 lands. Bishop takes d6. E takes d6. Queen takes d6. Bishop f4. Queen goes back. And now what? We reached the critical position. And I'm sure that when going for knight d6 check, white already saw all this coming. Here we go guys, rook takes b7, exchange sacrifice landed. King takes b7, but I'm sure that everything is not that clear yet. Queen e4, hitting both on h7 and also creating another very nasty threat. f5 and now watch to play. Here we go guys, queen takes e6 landed. A brilliant queen sacrifice which leads to a forced mate. Knight takes d4, double check, king b6, rook b1 check, just no escape guys and now this heavy artillery can't help play king. They are like watching from a side what's happening. How white pieces are murdering their king. Check, what a king hunt, what a king hunt, another check, king a2, check, king a1, checkmate, how do you like this beauty guys, what a marvelous combination, I am sure you enjoyed it a lot. Feel free to share this beauty with your friends as well, let them know about it. In the end the chess puzzle for you, the task is to win with the white pieces, as usual we will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.